we will be making this simple uh, landscape in this tutorial. Hi friends, I am Vanidas Mangathil and let us learn watercolors together. If you are new to my channel or if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and press the bell notification. I will be releasing more and more tutorial videos every week. Without further ado, let us get into the tutorial. I am using a cold pressed watercolor paper around A4 size and the GSM is around 300. So I am starting my work by using the leftover colors on the palette. So I have some leftovers of some uh, variations of blue and uh, some variations of uh, some leftover of uh, burnt sienna and uh, I also have some leftovers of uh, Penis gray etc red etc so you can see in my palette and you can you can pick up some uh, nearby colors it is basically some blue uh, blue kind of purple red etc for the sky okay now uh, let us let us suggest some clouds and while making the clouds uh, I'm I'm or, or I'm thinking about the overall perspective of it overall perspective of it so it should it should give some sign, sense of depth so that is what I'm considering now so some bigger clouds at the top and smaller clouds as it comes down towards the horizon I'm using camel artist watercolors for this work and at this point I am using a round brush, a medium sized round brush and I think it is uh, Daniel, I mean uh, the brush that I am using is Daler Rowney graduate number 18 brush. It doesn't really matter too much. Uh, you can take some medium sized round brush. Uh, yeah, as I told, think of the overall size and the perspective. Even for the clouds, uh, we need to be, it will turn out good basically if you follow the perspective. The rules of perspective, bigger clouds at the top and as you come towards the horizon, make it smaller or narrower. Some color variation, I have leftovers of blue and uh, paint is grey and red etc. Let us add some green now, I am using some grab uh, sap green and uh, little bit of yellow sort of cadmium yellow or gamboge actually my colors are dry on the palette so it is not coming out that well to the brush yeah little yellow you can see some yellow and green uh, uh, in the wash okay it's this is the initial wash for the for the land area for the ground Okay, I'm using olive green now. It is dry, it is not coming out smoothly, but yeah. Olive green adding touches of uh, yellow ochre and ultramarine blue to make it little darker green. So that here again, I'm looking for, what I'm looking for is the sense of depth or the color perspective darker colors as it comes towards the bot bottom and lighter colors on the top now it is fully dry and now let us add the second layer and here I am planning to start with some purplish blue for the far end foliages sort of thing maybe some far end a mountain or hill or whatever it is something at the far end okay something that kind of connects the sky and the land. Some color variation. Okay. Don't make anything very flat. Okay. Add some color variations. Right, now that looks uh, to be good enough and we need to gradually add in more and more vegetations, more and more uh, green, greenish 
foliages to kind of uh, fill the gap between the far end stuff and the nearby stuff so we need to have some sense of continuity okay so some green vegetations maybe some bushes or some trees or whatever it is at a far end so it could be trees group of trees you don't have to precisely draw this but you should create an overall illusion of some group of trees or group of bushes and let us now connect such vegetations to the ground i'm still using the same brush i mean i'm changing the brush now until now i have used the same brush now i am trying to use uh, a chinese calligraphy brush some uh, for some precise control okay i need thinner lines a little bit more uh, uh, precise brush works so i am i have switched to some smaller brush which is a calligraphic kind of a brush you can use a soft round brush with a good tip instead if you don't have a, a calligraphy brush now adding some elements uh, towards the foreground these are some i mean you can you can just uh, think that these are some sort of uh, contrasts that i am defining on the ground so that it should feel engaged okay uh, you cannot keep the foreground uh, like the wash that we did we have to add something so these could be some sort of uh, vegetations so i am playing with some of the angles here the tonal variations etc rather than precisely defining a tree or precisely defining uh, a bush etc what i am thinking of is the overall sense of uh, maybe the composition or maybe uh, with some variation of uh, dark and light values and some interesting elements okay this could be a kind of a taller tree there which it is nearby so it is it looks taller again it is nothing but the perspective anything that is near it it is seen as uh, taller and bigger right so let us extend this to the top of the sky and add little bit more uh, leaves foliages darker lines here darker lines okay. hmm. i think we need little bit more shadows on the foreground so i'm add mixing some leftover blues and some green to make it some bluish green pale wash and defining some more shadows on the ground to to kind of uh, enhance the <clears throat> the depth as well as to engage the foreground now this looks more engaged it doesn't look uh, i mean blank anymore so it is some it also defines some play of light so multiple things are achieved by adding these things okay so we are engaging the foreground we are getting some play of light and we are also kind of uh, improving the overall composition so if you are liking this video and if you are finding value in it please do subscribe and press the bell notification uh, i'll be releasing more and more videos every week and uh, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and uh, press the bell notification uh, <coughs> and if you have any suggestion or comments or feedback whatever questions please do write them into the comment box below i'll be happy to get back to you as early as possible now the i'm making some some sort of uh, directional lines here this could be uh, defining some fields on the ground 
something planted something i don't know what it is but some sort of uh, lines which will help increasing the depth improving the depth and it also kind of uh, engages the ground a little bit more treat this line as some some uh, sort of uh, visual elements rather than what literally it means i mean we i am worried more about adding some visual elements uh, uh, to improve either the composition depth or overall interest right so this is a smaller round brush that i am using okay so we have used uh, so far we have used three kind of brushes one medium round brush for the beginning initial washes and uh, for the trees we have used a chinese calligraphy brush and now i am using a medium size a small size round brush because we need little bit more control right i think at this point i believe that the foreground is uh, done reasonably uh, okay i mean it is reading well so i don't know whether i should do this adding some sort of uh, suggestions for some uh, some other other elements like cows figures etc okay just some darker colors maybe some blue and pinkish gray and some red etc to make some dark purple or sort of uh, darker value tones i assume that this went little big it should have been smaller this the suggestion for the cow anyway uh, i have changed it to another smaller brush uh, and uh, let us define some more elements maybe a cow is facing that side and uh, maybe a couple of figures here and these are not precise these are just uh, some suggestive uh brush words okay you don't have to make it precise see the viewer will fill the gaps so if you give sufficient amount of suggestions the viewer will uh, fill the gap and uh, they will take sense of it out of uh, whatever you suggest this is uh, orange color directly taken from the tube to suggest some the faces and hands basically exposed uh, body parts skin tones and some touches here and there and finally as uh, to finish i am adding some white highlights to uh, show some sense of light as well as to bring it or to get, uh, grab more attention for some of these elements right i think uh, we are very close to the finishing stage and i can basically uh call it as done okay so some more touches here and there but you should be aware whenever you use this kind of opaque touches whether it is orange or white or whatever you have to be very cautious you shouldn't overdo it okay it is very easy to overdo this opaque touches and it should be very limited okay i would say it should be within 10% of the, of the opaque touches right i think yeah some white spread here so kind of uh, correcting it i feel they are re reading okay and uh, let us take out the tape now and uh, yeah this is the final work so thank you very much for watching this i hope you could find some value in the tutorial and if you have found some value if you are finding it interesting please share it to your friends artist friends who also may benefit from this video if you have any suggestions or questions or comments please do write them into the comment box below i can accordingly uh, plan my future video topics so thank you very much once again and uh, we'll soon see you with another interesting tutorial uh, happy painting